How's it going everyone? I hope you have all had a fantastic Easter weekend. Today I want to go over a short article that appeared in The Australian. It's interesting because it mixes Christian belief with the cultural Marxism that we all now know and love. As you can see here by the title, Easter Messages, Christians Reject Racism and Hate Speech. Hmm, interesting, interesting that apparent Christian leaders are buying into this idea of racism and the completely fabricated concept known as hate speech. But anyway, let's get into it and hear what these Christian leaders have to say. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Matty Rose Live and tune in to my weekly live stream with editor of the XYZ, David Hiscox, where we discuss all the biggest news of the week. We go live every Monday at about 9.15 Australian Eastern Time. Can't wait to see you there. Link in the description. In the light of the New Zealand mosque attacks in March, Deidre Palmer, President of the United Church in Australia, chose to focus on peace and reconciliation in her address. She said, In the face of world events like the horrendous attack in Christchurch, where words and acts of hatred and violence have threatened the harmony and peace of our communities, Christ comes to us with a call of to love our neighbours, to live in peace, and to work for a reconciled human community. You see, that's correct. You see, Christ does call for us to work towards a reconciled human community. What Christ doesn't call for us to do is to flood one nation with another nation's people against the will of the people within that nation, and then to shut down those people who would otherwise defend their nation against such a horrendous act against them. You see, the Bible is actually very clear if you're reading the book of Genesis as to what a nation is. And the Bible very clearly endorses nationalism as the way to organize the human community. It's very, very clear. A nation is a group of people with a shared common heritage, a common ancestry, who also share a language and a culture and values and also a territory. That is what consists of a nation according to the Bible. So you'd think that these apparent Christian leaders would point that out. So yes, let's work towards a reconciled human community. The way to do that is to keep the peoples separate as was dictated by God to us in the Bible. Ms. Deirdre Palmer said, in the spirit of Christ, our young people reject racism and hate speech and embrace Jesus' message of love and inclusion. Oh. Why is it that a supposedly Christian representative, a, an apparent leader in a Christian church, is accepting the satanic words of racism and hate speech? You see, racism is just an anti-white racial slur, essentially. It was literally just created to silence white European nationalism. So to stop people from identifying with their own European heritage. To stop them practicing what all individuals and all peoples on earth have the right to practice. And hate speech, that is just the left trying to silence anyone who disagrees with them. What they deem hate speech is really just speech that they hate. Now they will try and say, oh, it's about saying hateful this and saying hateful that. But really what they deem as hateful is anything that they don't like. And again, if you're going to have a concept like hate speech, you have the problem of who defines what my hate speech is. It's also important to remember that the Saviour himself, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for what certain people in his time deemed hate speech. They didn't actually call it that at the time. They called it blasphemy, but it is exactly, it is exactly the same thing. In principle, Jesus Christ is guilty of wrong think and they crucified him for it. But then we get another message from a different church. 
Reverend John P. Wilson, Moderator General of the Presbyterian Church of Australia, said Jesus' death on the cross was the draw card for everyone at Easter. He said, Mercy, blessing, forgiveness, grace, freedom, it's all there for all peoples because it's the cross that draws all people to the Christ, Reverend Wilson wrote in his message. Isn't that just a lovely message there? Truly grasps the spirit of Christianity and the spirit of Easter in that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He died because he dared to speak the truth to power and they killed him for it. And that's the lesson that I take from his sacrifice that if Jesus is willing to die on the cross and suffer brutal pain simply for telling the truth, then I think we as individuals deemed wrong thinkers by the establishment can tell the truth as loudly as possible regardless of whether it costs us our job or maybe some fake friends or some family members might even not want to speak to us anymore but that is just the price that we have to pay to spread God's message of love and truth and it is a message for all peoples so every people on the planet whether you are one of the European peoples an Asian peoples or one of the African peoples, or any one of the nations that this earth has right now. You all deserve to live in harmony and in peace. We all want that. We all think that that is the highest goal that we can have in order to live a peaceful existence for all of us. And I think this is well and truly the message of Easter. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, share the truth around, and I will see you when I see you.